service. Um, NASA is our partner, and Stennis Space Center is our space center. So as you heard earlier from Patrick, we don't just plan on having a press conference and walking away. We in, intend to make uh, real investments, financial investments in programs like Relativity and SpaceX and others that are coming here. Uh, we will depend on Rick to give us uh, the go sign. And when he does, we're going all the way. That February 19th, 2019, I watched as President Trump signed the Space Policy Directive Number 4. It established uh, something very important, the Space Force. Now, those, there were those that thought that was uh, unique to President Trump. I realized it was certainly part of his character. He understood the importance of space and how it must be protected. See, we're not the only one going to space anymore. In fact, America cannot lag behind those that would wish to be in space for their own advantages. Like everywhere that we've ever been, uh, Mississippi and the United States of America would be there for the good of the world, for the good of mankind, for that one giant leap for mankind. So today we will announce, with the help of the Mississippi National Guard, I will be issuing the Space Directive. Executive Order 1446 will establish the Mississippi Space Force within the Mississippi National Guard. Senator Dur General Durbals, General Durbals is with us here today as I will sign this directive. General Neighbors will accompany him. There are a few things that I've done as governor that I will look back on, I believe, that would have been this important. Someday within the halls of Congress, senators and congressmen will look and say, where should those space bases be? Where should those space forces be in America? Someone's going to say, well, they've got to be in Mississippi because you know they already have one. They have a space force for their National Guard, and the Guard must be a part of this effort. But today, I'm going to ask General Walls and General Neighbors to join me as I sign into law the executive order of making certain that we have this Guard Space Force directive so that this day we will plant our flag and move forward in protection. Now, if you will allow us, I will sign this with the representatives of the National Guard and then ask those elected officials and other representatives to join us. One day you will be showing your grandchildren this photograph. So we've got plenty of room. And we want everyone to be a part of our Space Force here in Mississippi. Journalists, if you'll join me. Executive Order 1445 plans outer space is essential to our nation's economy, scientific capabilities, and national security. Whereas research and development in the field of space is constantly evolving. Whereas on February 19, 2019, the President of the United States declared the United States must adapt its national organizations, policies, doctrine, and capabilities to deter aggression and protect our interests in space. Whereas the state of Mississippi and the Mississippi National Guard desire to do what is necessary to ensure our state is prepared to respond to ever-changing national security threats, and that our Mississippi National Guard members continue to play a cru crucial role in the protection of the country beyond the 21st century. Now, therefore, I feel bright governor of the state of Mississippi by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Mississippi Constitution to hereby direct Major General Jason Bowles, Adjutant General of the Mississippi National Guard, to establish the Mississippi National Guard Space Directive to build a foundation of a space-related mission within the Mississippi Air National Guard. Witness I do here, fix my signature hand caused by the great seal of the state of Mississippi, the year of our Lord, the first day of July, 2019.